Good morning, everyone. This is a Sunday, the 19th of August, which happens to be my birthday. So, yes, today is my real birthday. So I've already had a lot of people uh, sending me the best wishes and some people donating to me because it's my birthday. That's all a lot of fun. So I want to thank everyone uh, for sponsoring me in August 2018. Love you all to pieces as usual. Yes. So today I'm going to do a couple of videos. Uh, the ones I promised. First off, I'd like to show you this. This uh, I don't know if I showed you before, but this is a, um, a little package and it's filled with these beautiful um, little butterflies, as you can see. But they didn't do a very good job about cutting them out. But what can you expect from something that is really cheap? There's a lot of butterflies in here and you can do all kinds of stuff with them. And I'll show you what they show on the package. As you can see, this is really beautiful. I love this idea. I might even do that. I don't know if you can see that, but this is one of those glass domes. And they put all these butterflies in there. But I think that if you want to do that, you will have to stick two together like that because you can see the front and the back and then put them in one of those glass dome things. I might just look into one of those and then find some little twig, go for a walk in the, uh, in the woods and then find a twig that is really pretty, you know, sort of... Uh, has all these little things going off the branches and then stick those little butterflies on. Also they do um, um, put them on little presents as you can see here or put them on the wall. You can do a lot of stuff with this. This is uh, what's in it, the whole package. You get two of the big ones. Well you get a lot of, uh, a lot of butterflies. But like I said they don't do a good job of cutting them out as you can see because there's a white line all across and what you have to do before you do anything is cut that white line off because that is really ugly and it shows that it's you know pretty much fake but I was thinking about doing a background pour something really you know really calm and not too many bubbles in it or cells I should say cells just not too much maybe just a pour without silicone and then put these on that might be really fun what do you guys think this one's pretty too it has a lot of gold on it also but what I was thinking let's take like this one what I really was thinking I'll get a little brush because I am always someone that when I find something it's not just not glittery enough <laughs> yeah that's me so we put a little glitter on the table and a little bit of gloss fluid medium and then pick up that and then just add a little bit more around the edges that sort of looks cool just a tiny little bit more and then when it dries it'll be totally transparent and you won't see a thing and it won't come off but just a teeny tiny little bit extra now you can do this or of course we get the Patty's pigments yeah and we take something that will look good with the purple let's see what will fit with purple well maybe this one let's see what that does oh, it does give it a little different shimmer that's kind of nice so, you know, you can just make your own beautiful butterflies. I was going to say flinders. 
So that's another Dutch lesson for today. Butterfly in Dutch is vlinder. Doesn't that sound much better than butterfly? Vlinder. <laughs> okay, guys, try to pronounce it. Vlinder. Um, maybe it'll help if I show you how you write it. So it's Flinder. Okay, that's it. Your lesson for today. Okie dokie, let's close this up. Now, I have another uh, thing I want to show you because a while back I said I wouldn't save it, but I did because I love this, what's going on here in the middle. So I thought I'd just show you how I take it off. Some find this very, very satisfying. Where it's really thin, it, you won't be able to take it off totally, but oh, well, look at that. It's coming right off. So what you have left, see this is the bottom. This is pure acrylic. And I'll show you why I wanted to save it. Smack in the middle here. Let me get you in focus. There it is. I really like this bit here. Now, I was thinking about doing a pour. Oh, that is pretty too. It looks like a bird. Can you see where I'm coming from? What I'm seeing? Like this is a bird. This is the wings. That's really pretty. So I was thinking about using this uh, part for a nice little oh where do I have my oh that's inside but I have um, like an oval shaped thing let me get one that would look really cool see that that would oops you're not in focus there you are that would fit in there nicely so or this one I like this bit too Maybe I can get two out of it. We'll see. I'm uh, going to do some uh, some of these pendants uh, this afternoon. So uh, this is it. I'll just keep it, stick it on the door or something like that. But I really like this bit too. This is really pretty. Let me really get you in close. There you go. Okay guys, I'm going to stop the video, going to set up and I'm going to do a little pouring and I'll just stick these two together. So uh, I'll see you back when I'm all set up and I got my paint and I'm going to do some pouring. See you in a bit. Okay, we're back and we have our colors. As you can see, I promised some really weirdo colors and that's what I got. So um, I have some gold. Let me get some silicone. I have gold, like I said. This is Reeves. Reeves is really um, an easy metallic color to mix. As you can see, the consistency is perfect. This fluorescent is also Reeves. I had a little tube, which I picked up, I think. I'm not all for the fluorescent because um, they are not light fast at all. But I thought I'd just, you know, have a little fun with these colors. So this yellow, this is um, uh, Windsor & Newton. This one, uh, I was going to do purple, but as I was mixing, I put in a little bit of uh, blue. And all of a sudden, I get this really beautiful color. So I'll just see how that works out when I pour it. And this is some leftover from yesterday. This is a color that turned out a little bit too dark, so I put half of it in another cup, added a lot of titanium, and that's what I poured yesterday. I'll show you. It's still up here. See this color? Much lighter, so I can use it now because I just want some weirdo colors, right? And what we're going to do is... But I can't remember how I did that. Um, well, we'll see. We'll, uh, maybe I'll just do a ring pour and then really stretch it all over the canvas. Something like that. So what I'm going to start with is, of course, the metallic because that's going to come out last. 
So I'm hoping that it's going to at least show up a little bit. Then that beautiful pink, then the beautiful purpley bluish color, then the yellow and the blue, which I'm going to pour straight through everything. And now I have about, let's see, uh, I don't have 200 milliliters yet. I want 200 milliliters. I'm going to layer this on top with a little bit more of the pink. Now I have 200 milliliters and I think that's enough for the uh, for the 30 by 30 that I'm going to pour. So we're going to pour from the middle, but I, sorry, you're going to see my hair. Yes, look at my hair. New color. Yep, all the gray was poking through. <laughs> so we have to keep coloring. Okay, let's do a little ring pour. Letting it come out really slow. Ooh. Yeah, now the blue's coming. And more metallic. Oops. Made a little figure eight there. That's not good. Okay, let's do a little torching. If we can find our torch. We made a lot of... Uh, mess yesterday. Oh, that looks really funny. Let's see what happens. I'm going to do this pretty much controlled. Wow, look at that. That is beautiful. Now I don't want to really tilt it anymore. Woo. I'm doing this really slowly, guys, because that's what has to happen. Wow, is this beautiful? <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Look at that. Look at those colors, what they're doing together. Almost looks like peacock feathers. So again, I'm going to make it slowly move all over the place. Wow, this looks like a fish. Look at that. Wait a minute. Let me get in close. That was really awesome. And I sort of like this, so I'm hoping that's going to stay. And I'm going to do it back down here. Ooh, I don't want to lose too much of this. Wow, look at that. Ah, but now I can see some of the colors are sort of, um, sort of, uh, m you know, moving around and sinking to the bottom. Now I don't want to do any anything more to it than that. Let me get my palette knife. Or maybe just do another little ring pour. Yeah. Hmm. I like it, but I don't like it. Have you ever had that? It's pretty, but it's missing something. I'm missing some of that blue and a lot of that pink. Let's see what's going to happen when we do this. Do a little ring pour down here. And we're 
we're gonna let it swirl now this is kind of um, you got to get the feeling of doing that when I make it swirl like that it's uh, sometimes it's a sort of a hit and miss thing so you got to practice with that So we're going to make it swirl and then pour over the side. That's it. One down here. And then I'm going to do something else to it because I'm, I'm totally not digging this one. This is a, um, I didn't like this. In the beginning it was beautiful and then the color sort of started to do its own thing. There it goes. Okay, now to do something to pick it all up because it's one but ugly picture. We're going to be uh, using all the paint I guess. Uh, the gold. And I won't put the yellow in because I think we can do without the yellow. That, give it a little swirl. Okay, here we go. Oops, you can't see anything. Sorry. Okay, now let's do our swirly swirl thing. It's moving all over the place. Yeah, come down, down, down. That's it. My torch is almost empty, so I'll have to fill that one. That's better. Okay, it's a lot of, um, it's a lot of color and it's uh, got a lot of uh, ribbons and <laughs> it's total chaos. So um, I don't think it's going to get any better than this. Let me just fix the corner here. Who knows, maybe when uh, this is dried I will like it. And there's one corner with a little bit missing. There's a little bit missing here. Okay, now it's all covered. It does have some um, some special parts in it, but overall, nope, it has to go like that. This is the way it has to go. Like, whoops, there it goes. We'll see what happens when this dries. It's going to dry exactly as this is. I know a lot of people are asking me, show me your, your dried pieces, because I have the idea that they're thinking it's not going to dry like when I pour it, but I've shown hundreds that it will dry exactly like this. Uh, when it doesn't, I will see it on f when it's wet. I see it when when it's going to be moving or something like that, but this is not going to be moving anywhere. So this is going to stay just as is. And I might add something to it, not sure yet, but it is uh, kind of crazy and it's... Um, it's, it has 
all over the place there's stuff that you want to look at and that's as you know I don't find that very appealing I like it when there's a, some calm pieces and then there's something that really pulls the attention but this is so busy everything is pulling your attention and that's what I don't really like but we'll clean this mess up oh I might do a little swipe because I got some paint left okay let me put this away Okay, put it away. Now we can do some swiping. And let's see what the colors is gonna bring us. Oh, now someone's gonna start mowing their lawn. <laughs> In the middle of my video. Can you hear that? That's not my husband. We don't have grass. That's the, uh, the neighbor. I'll close the door. Wait a minute. Oh, this is turning out to be fun. Ooh, it's dark in here. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. But as I was saying that this isn't that pretty. Oh, what's this? What is in there here? Oh, that's the paper. As I was saying, it, it wasn't that pretty. You'll see that piece. Now I love this bit here. Look at that. And especially because it's sort of drooping down, but it also has a little bit of a sheen in it because I used that um, metallic from Reeves. So we're going to keep this one. Cleaning off my hands here. Okay, next one. Next one is going to be a squish. We're going to put a nice line of color right smack through the middle. And then I'm going to put a little bit of that pink I have left. Oops, well, a little bit. A little bit more than normal. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you know, if you don't make a mess, you're not making art. <laughs> okay, there we go. Pressing it. And voila. Now, I do like the colors a little bit. <laughs> oh, yes, I do like how it's held up. Because now it's showing the uh, metallic underneath here. That's the metallic. And uh, we'll just keep it. Who knows? You never know what you get when it dries, right? Might be something fun. And a little bit more of that blue here. And a little bit of that. And let it come down. Because one was enough. Don't want too many of those. Sorry you're not seeing it, but I'm trying to cover the whole thing. There it goes. Okay, what have I been watching lately? I have been watching, oh, I cannot believe I've been watching it, but I love it. Uh, Vikings, the series, the HBO series. And um, I'm normally not, you know, of the uh, the fighting and the, and the killing everyone and torture and all that kind of stuff. But there is some something about that series that, you know, it has, um, I don't know, it, it's just, uh, it's fun to watch. Well, not really fun with all the sacrificing of animals and all that kind of stuff. But I guess that's what they did back in the day. So... Um, yeah, I think it's a, a good program. That's pretty nice. Although, I don't like all that antique green in it, but I think I can do something with it. Hmm. 
But um, if you uh, really have nothing more to watch, you can always watch that because uh, it's worth it. Um, I, I go through these series like a mad woman, so um, I don't know. I think uh, 10 days I saw four seasons. Well, I'm in the fourth season. I have a couple to go, but I really uh, enjoy when I do other stuff, you know, bead or do something on the computer. I always have something playing. Yes, we women can multitask. We're pretty good at that. Okie dokie. Okay. That was really cute, but I don't have any of that anymore, I don't think. Let's see. Gotta go slow because it's almost empty. That's about it. See, sometimes I wish that uh, we could fold a canvas like this because look at that. That is, I, I love how that goes wow all the, all the ways. And then let's see if we torch it, what happens. I don't want to torch it too much, just a little bit to give it a little bit of a a little bit of life to it but look at that that is beautiful see sometimes when I do one of these <clears throat> the only bit I'll take is like this this section I'd take and the rest I'd I'd throw away because that's not too interesting but this thing here in the middle that is really cute I like that okay guys I'm gonna clean up now I'm gonna make my uh, paints that I used yesterday on the trip itch trippage whatever you call it you know what I mean as long as you know what I mean that's okay right so I'm gonna mix those colors because I think they need a little bit of water because they thickened up during the night yes they sure did so I'm gonna fix them clean this up and I'm going to do I think I would have enough for something like 30 by 40 something big I'm gonna do that one in a bit so see you right back then. Bye-bye. Sorry it took so long. Bye. <laughs>